FEMA payouts from Hurricane Harvey. People could be using your identity to get payouts for flood damage that doesn't even exist. Consumer expert Amy Davis is on top of it. She's here with what you need to know this morning. Yeah, guys, I spoke with two different consumers yesterday and thought this was significant enough to pass along. Both of them live in different parts of Cyprus and say FEMA inspectors stopped by their homes yesterday. I spoke with um, both of them and they say that um, the inspectors did not knock on the door. In one case, they were taking pictures of the property when the homeowner went out to ask what they were doing and why. In the other, the inspector was leaving a sorry we missed you letter on the door. In both cases, the inspectors informed the homeowners that they were following up on the FEMA claim for assistance that had been filed for their addresses. Well, neither homeowner had filed because they didn't even have damage from the flood. Wow. So I reached out to FEMA and a spokesperson told me they are hearing stories like these right now and that the homeowner should report the information to the FEMA fraud hotline. That phone number is here for you now on your screen, 866-720-5721. Now, if someone is claiming to be a FEMA representative and is on your property, you should always ask to see their FEMA employee ID badge. A FEMA shirt or a jacket is not proof of identity. All FEMA representatives, including contractors, contracted inspectors will have a laminated photo ID. Mm. You should also file a police report and put fraud alerts or freezes on your accounts with all three credit bureaus. Wow. Now, one of those homeowners confirmed with FEMA that whoever filled out the FEMA application had his social security wow. number, and the only information that did not belong to him on the application was the telephone number and the email address. Mm. The fraudster had requested that FEMA send money to them via an electronic funds transfer using a green dot bank account. So FEMA knows this is happening. They're asking for people to call that number, even if you yeah. suspect something, because it may help trace. I found this interesting that they were both in Cyprus on different um, sides of 290 yeah. yesterday. Well, and I saw somebody just in, in my neighborhood just driving up and down the street with one of those reflective vests, taking pictures of random things. Yeah. It's yeah. like, after what's happened, you just you kind of don't know. But uh, Who's doing yeah, what? Yeah, and I didn't know yeah. what to do about it, but it's a good idea to just make a quick phone call. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Can't hurt. Yeah. Amy, we appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you.